Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, uh, everybody. I thought that was down, goodness. How are you guys doing? Hi, Maria. I was so excited that you did that right before my scope because it gets us all um, ready. So, how fun. It's going to be a watercolor night. Who's going to be next after me? <laughs> Babette, you, anyone? Anyone going to be next? Okay. Sorry, it took me a little while after Maria got off because I had to go and get myself some tea. Hope you guys have your teas or whatever drink. And perhaps you're going to... Yes, we should do a lineup. Exactly. There is a group that does that on Saturdays. I don't... I can't remember who it is. But anyway, there is a group. <clears throat> so... You guys, if you, um, I hope you guys brought, I need a tripod. Yeah, that's hard. Uh, did you guys, uh, have your paints out? Are you going to paint with me? Ooh, that's hot. I'm ready. Cool. Um, I just wanted to piggyback with what Maria said and how she did her background. Very simple and just throwing some color down and that's what I did earlier and well I I made this and then I just squished it just like she showed on hers so that was cool um right now I this is a orchid insert and I have a lot of inserts going right now and a lot of sketchbooks because I'm doing a, a bunch of different things. This is the one um, where I just kind of play and do different things. Um, watching before I go to bed early morning. Oh, I better hurry then, huh? <laughs> anyway, so this is just play. And then I have another one, which, ooh, which I showed you guys before. And this is um, from Babette has her original artwork so beautiful and I like doing my patterns in here because um, the colors really pop and it gets me um, going with my pattern plays that I've been doing lately so uh, the one that I'm going to do today is this one here and it is the one hi hi Trisha and ginger sleets now okay i i know who you are i just that's not your name ginger's not your actual name so can you give me your name i'm sorry so bad hi marilyn see that's easy april yes april okay see that's easy like marilyn because that's her name on there anyway so i'm going to do this today <clears throat> and i mentioned earlier it was a this was on instagram and really a bunch of people mentioned well not a bunch but a couple of people mentioned how um they like this page particularly and someone asked if i would do a demo on it and it's really a takeoff from babette's faces the way she puts water down and correct me if i'm wrong babette but she basically puts water everywhere clean water and then she'll start taking paint and starts dabbing them in different parts. And then as they drip down, um, they make a marbled-like effect. Is that correct? That's how you do it, right? Okay, cool. Okay, I don't work generally. Um, I don't put. I don't work wet on wet in general. I just um, never have. I'm kind of like we're more like when people work with acrylic and such where um well i'll show you what i do with this one but basically a lot of times i'll just take a, a dry brush dip it in the water dip it into paint and then start painting that's how i generally do my stuff so yeah anyway, so we're going to do this today and i'll show you how i did this and it was a takeoff like i was saying from babette's um technique that i messed up on because i didn't wet the whole paper so I'm just gonna put this in front of me so I kind of remember what I was doing and I also did it on this which is the one that's a work in progress on the bigger block of watercolor so I did the same kind of technique 
and because I was again still trying to do Babette's I couldn't think of how she did it so anyway so let me go ahead and get a fresh piece here this is now my art one I stick my art books in here now because I had gotten it marked a couple of scopes ago so I don't mind it getting marked at this point so but I will still cover it a little bit okay hey Courtney there she is so maybe Babette will do the next one after I'm done, and then maybe Courtney, and then maybe Anahi, and Hannah, anyone? So, okay, I might not look. What did you miss? Nothing yet, except for the fact that there was another person, Maria, who did a um, demo right before me, and then... I did my, I'm doing mine right now, and then I'm calling for someone to do the next one. My last scope on replay. Oh, I have not even watched it. Okay, I'm going to get going, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm just getting chatty here, and I want to give someone a chance to come on after me. Yeah. So, if you're going to come on, please let us know so we could be looking out for it. So, basically, like I said, I don't wet my whole paper at first. Um, I just, uh, well, okay, this one I will. However, generally I just take the brush to the paint, to the paper. That's for you, um, Anahi, because you just came on. So with this, I'm just going to wet just the top of it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do my regular patterning and what I do before I do that part that goes down. So a lot of times what I do is I just play. When I am sitting in front of the um, Netflix, I sit and I want to relax. I watch my shows. Um, and then while I'm watching, I am painting. And sometimes I will prep my pages for my journal or my planner. And sometimes I'll paint something that I see or sometimes I just paint. Um, anyway, I'm painting. I, I feel like... I can't sit and just watch something. I have to be doing something. So right here, I just kind of wet it a little bit, but I play and I, I want to see what the colors are doing. And so I just take whatever color. I do, I do not have a lot of experience necessarily with color. So I just play. And then I go next to it and then over it to see how it reacts with each other and I don't even really have a color scheme I just do whatever I feel like doing again just because I want to play and by the way I forgot to mention that while I'm playing or while I'm doing this type of a thing I am a fairly frugal person. And so what I like to do is because I buy decent paints. This is my journal, or not my journal, my planner, or sometimes I'll do it on my journal. But anyway, what I do, okay, is while I'm playing like this, uh, let's see what this is, I think this is a blue. No, not quite. Hang on, get a proper boo. It's looking green. There we go. So that's a blue. So while I play like this, right? Then I go and whatever's left on my brush, I just put on my page. <laughs> because like we were talking earlier on Maria's scope, uh, just having some color on your page entices you to to journal on it right it does me anyway so I just want to add a little bit of color again here I'm just playing want to do a different color so I'm just gonna put that on the page it's extra I'm both sometimes I get lucky <laughs> I 
I mean, I don't fully clean it on there, but I get a lot of the colors there. So basically, this is what I do. And I just look at the colors. I mix them. I try different things. And sometimes I like this idea since some of my paint ends up on the paper towel more than on my paper. Exactly. Um, let me get a different color. So what's nice about these, having a bunch of different paints, you have a choice of color. And I'll add some in different areas that are that maybe have white. It's like an olive. You guys don't forget to share these. On Instagram once you um, complete it. Okay, are there any questions or anything? Just showing you how I play with my stuff here. Take some from something I mixed a couple of days ago. I don't know what color I mixed there, but I just add it. Might as well work on this too. <laughs> A roadrunner sword runner for my Patreon collage sheets. Oh, fun. I'm glad that you're here. Too much pain if I do it this way. If you do what? This, what I'm doing right here? Oh, you mean if you don't wet it? Well, but that's your style. There you go. Yes, exactly. This is what I'm used to, so. Which is usually the improper way of doing things. But whatever works for you, you know? The colors on your palette by memory. Huh, no, I do not. Nope. Do you? <laughs> no, because I have so many palettes going. So gorgeous. Looks like a sunset. Oh, thank you. But see, I'm just playing, you know? And as you do more of these, you just come up with different color combinations. Some only in my Lucas. Exactly, because you've been using Lucas this whole time, huh? Okay, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And I'm going to do that by just kind of dabbing on it. Because if you look at this one here, it has some color on it. I don't remember now how I did, ex what I did exactly, but I must have done these color schemes. And then I kind of thought, I'll play with it a little bit more and did that. Totally looks like a landscape. Yeah, you know, when you do this kind of stuff, you start to see things, you know? And then you can work, build off of that. I mean, it can go this way. It looks like a landscape this way, for sure. It could be like it's under the sea. It just has different colors. I mean, it could be anything. And same here. I don't know if you guys see this. But I'm seeing a fish, and then I see a boulder, and then I see trees. So it's interesting. So, okay. I'll get on with it. Okay, so to do that technique that I, that people wanted me to show you. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's like a fish. Rainbow fish. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Let me just dry this real quick. Sorry if you hear it. Ooh. Okay. 
That's pretty dry. There you go, I'm getting more marking on it. Cool. Okay, so now, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take water and instead of putting it everywhere on the page, like the wet on wet technique, I'm just going to put it on partial, on the top of it. And then because that's already red, I'm gonna take a contrasting color, or a different color anyway, I dip it a little bit in there and then just that's it and I just kind of let it drip and then I put some water more water on it just on top of it sorry I hope you guys are seeing this I didn't even read it, sorry. I didn't even see it, your comment. So I'm gonna take a different green. And then what I do is I just kind of pull some of it. That's all I did, really. Then I take more color and pull and then wet it. So you just kind of play. <laughs> See, there's nothing really earth shattering about it. Ooh. So I just kind of pick some of the colors and go next to it. Okay, see how simple that is, you guys? No bird today, you mean the bird sound? Now she's being quiet. So that is it. Now you know if you have the dryer, you can have that going. Mm -hmm. Let's get some purple. You would never think to do that. <laughs> well, I only thought of it because I was messing up the way Babette was doing hers. I was trying to do Babette's way and I messed up. So yeah, I came up with this. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I should just say, yeah, this is a totally cool technique that Europeans do, <laughs> then I would be lying. Would you write on this or keep it simply for art? Well, I, it would depend on if my, if it was, if it wasn't dark, yes, I would um, write on it or you can write on it with white. Come November, I'm going to learn so much, <laughs> maybe. Um, you can use white, um, a white pen, a gel pen or something, but, or you can put a, um, what do you call it? A journal, a, a tip in, a journal page. Thinking positive here. <laughs> yes, we must think positive. Yes, that's why I say I'm a specialist in making mud. I'm a modologist. <laughs> journaling card exactly so that's it I mean and then if you want 
you can just turn on the dryer again and sometimes it kind of helps it go down and sometimes it doesn't. Wow, that dryer is new and it smells funny. So, there you go. See the little, whoops, what's, how do I do this? Not this way. Ah, uh, no, this way. <laughs> so the little beads right there, it's basically these little things here letting it dry so what do you guys think easy right there you go and then Babette has shown before I told her to show it on, um, to be my next pages. I, I told her to show it on Periscope, but she said she's already done a video on it. And so she didn't think it would be of any value, basically. And I think it would be the different techniques that she uses, um, because just the act of doing it shows us again how it's done, because so many times, to see how the hand is holding the brush or how you're moving it around your page, you know, it kind of gets um, the viewer going and kind of get the, I don't know how to put it, the beat, so to speak. And then when they go to do their own, there it is because they've seen it done. So um, there's a lot of different techniques that Babette does, stippling, um, all that kind of stuff that she showed on one of her on her um the pressure can you show it to us you could be next please you have all kinds of ideas so one of the things she does is that and she just splatters now and then she takes a different color whoops totally mixing my colors Woo! look at that fun see you got it exactly but then you have other ones that you could show us I don't remember any other ones to be honest and I'm not just saying that to get you to scope right now <laughs> anyway so that is it you guys I don't want to put pressure on anybody but if anyone's going to um, scope do share it with us so that um, we can keep this going till tonight my husband's not around I can do this with you guys the trick with the straw, have you seen that? I have seen it, but there's people who have not, I'm sure. You want to do it? Ah, uh, he's home. Okay. That's cool. Do you want to do it? You want to show us the straw way? I have seen it, but some people have not, so you don't know how. <laughs> oh, basically, um, I'll tell you guys what you do is you just plop color down and then um, from there, uh, you take a straw and you blow through it. And as you're blowing, you blow different directions through the straw and it just disperses. It's really cool. So is anyone gonna take me up on this? Someone gonna do something next? Again, no pressure. April? Ty Bender, I don't know who that is. Yeah, you can, but as you can see, mine didn't work out because I need to see you do it. <laughs> Maybe Sunday you'll do something. Okay. Have you guys seen the one with the cellophane? Because um, that one's pretty cool too. And let me show you what I did with it. I saw it from Kathleen. I mean, it's something that they've 
it's been done many, many times. So what I wanted to do is I did the cellophane thing, right? And then days later, I started seeing stuff on it and I wanted to draw. And I stopped myself from drawing because I wanted to do it on camera. Well, I have not done it yet. And so like this, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some shapes of different um, with the ink and show the process of going through that. But I just haven't had time. And so um, I will do that on camera sometime, I guess. But with, do you guys know that technique with the, with the um, cellophane? Do you guys know how to do that? Is that something you'd like to see done? Okay, do you want to see it done? I should do it now. I can, but you guys are going to have to wait a minute till I get cellophane, okay? You guys have a minute to wait. It's not far. Okay. All right, I'll do it. Okay. So then you guys will have something else you could do that's easy and fun, plain. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, you can do this also with bubble wrap. And it's just cellophane. It's mango. It's just cellophane. Whoops, you know what? I'm going to need more. I'm not seeing the comments. Like being there just hanging out. Yeah. So much from you, ladies. Oh, that's great. Okay, let me get some more. Hang on. Okay, so what I'm saying is that <laughs> you can use cellophane, you can use paper that is crumpled, you could use just about anything. So you just basically take it, okay, I have three pieces here, okay? So all you do is take a brush, wet it. Again, you know what, this will work better if you don't wet the whole thing first, if you just take your wet brush and dip it into the paint and then paint on it. Because when you wet it, it gets a little too, um, and then put the paint on, it gets a little too, oh, how do I put it? The colors are not quite um, separated. Like with my sample, the colors, you could see distinctly colors. I don't like to wet my paint first swishy okay so let me get a color here so I I wet the brush and I load it with paint and I just put it on there a lot oops where's my other paper where I could be putting the my um extra colors on. Okay, again, I'm just really loading this brush. And I'm just doing all kinds of shapes here. Oops. Again, just cleaning it off on another sheet so it could be ready to go as background for my journaling. Um, let's see, well, this purplish, some of it I squish on, you know, I put in the other color to give it more color, add more water to it perhaps, take that same color and put it on this side.
Okay, let me put that aside so I can concentrate more on this. Because you don't want it really to get too dry. Trying to work fast so it doesn't get too dry. I see that. There's some blue in here that I like. Whoops, that became purple. Oh, I think I need some yellow. Yeah, that's orange. Just add it there. And get my other palette. If you guys notice, my palette gets all mixed up. The colors get mixed because I don't fully clean it. I just dab it right on there. I just don't like to, you know, stifle my creativity. So I just like to slap down as quickly as I can. <laughs> okay, really, I'm just sloppy. See... I, I'm just saying that, but really, I like to not think too much because when you think too much, you don't just play. And then you get too serious about what you're doing and then you end up not happy with it. Whereas if you're just playing and also I'm just in the, um, I don't save my paints. I know some people overthinking exactly. Um, some people save their paints um, because they don't want to use, you know, like if they have Daniel Smiths or whatever. I'm just not like that because, I don't know, I used to do that when I was younger and it just was stressful trying to figure out what I can use, what I can't use. So I'd rather just work and just, I mean, I'd just rather work whatever, whatever I have with me. So I go ahead and take the cellophane and I'm just going to put it on there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to... Exactly, you can't take them with you once you're gone. It could be any paint set. I'm just saying that if I have the paint and even though it's expensive and it's nice paint, I feel like I'm worth it and I'm not going to save it and I'm just going to use it because it's just more stressful when you don't. That's it. I didn't get to cover that and that's okay. It'll probably be fine. So I don't know if, if I dry this, it's going to ruin the plastic on top. But anyway, basically this is all I did. And then I'm going to have to wait about 10, 20 minutes and lift this up after it's been sitting there a while and after it dries a little bit. It may not take that long, but you get the point, right? So you guys try this 
And what I'm going to do is I will, um, once I lift this up and I, I'm going to post it so you guys can see. You saw it here and then you can see what it looks like um, once it's done. Yes, you could do it tomorrow, your dried versions. Like I said, um, Kathleen uh, did this on one of her scopes. And it's not a technique that's anything new, but it's definitely a fun one. And I forgot about it. There's also the technique of putting salt. You guys know that, right? Where you wet it, just like I was doing here. I wet it, and then I took salt, and I just sprinkled salt all over it. Let it dry, and then you just kind of wipe the salt away and it leaves speckles. So that's another thing that you can do. That's fun. So with that, I just wanted to go ahead. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys what I was drinking, tea. It's a wild blueberry, and this is really good. I just wanted to recommend it if you guys um, like blueberry. It is by the Republic of Tea, and it's super good, and it's good with cream as well. So. And no, I am not affiliated with them. I just share my teas my because I enjoy them. And I like to share with other people because I get a lot out of what people share with me. And it's nice when you get recommendations so you're not buying all kinds of things. And you can go from someone's recommendation. So other than that, do you guys have any questions at all that I can answer? Maybe? Thank you, Maria. Good tea. I drink that. Yeah. So no questions. Okay. If you guys don't have any other questions or anything, it was fun. Yes. Um, you guys have a great weekend and try this and don't forget to tag me, please. So I can see I will scope in the morning. I promise. Yay. What time do you think you'll be scoping? Your time. You can tell us your time and then we'll figure it out. When when your husband's golfing, right? 8 a.m. 8, 9, 10. That's 11 my time, right? I think Pacific because you're Eastern. Okay. Sounds good. So you guys have a great evening. Have a great weekend. And um, we will talk to you soon. Next week, I'll be doing the pattern, so I'll start that series. Alrighty, bye-bye.